My beloved is the most beautiful, the most suitable of suitors, the most dutiful of lovers. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. His face is like the appearance of lightning and it shines like the sun. His eyes like flaming torches. His limbs like the gleam of polished bronze. His words like the sound of a multitude. His voice like the roar of rushing waters. The hairs of his head are the hue of snow, as white as the wool woven into his clothes. But from the world's perspective, he had no beauty or majesty that should attract us. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was rejected and despised as he met his demise. Mankind did not treat this man kindly. Familiar with pain and acquainted with grief, my beloved became a man of sorrows held in low esteem. But the joy he would receive from us being redeemed is the reason why he endured the shame and embraced the pain of a cross so rugged. Have you heard of my beloved? Can you guess his name? Do you know the many titles that portray his fame? He's the seed of a virgin woman, yet he's called the son of man. He's the Lion of Judah, the Passover Lamb, and the Ram for Abraham. He's the only Jewish seed to precede Abraham, which is why he said before Abraham, I am, as in I am that I am. He's a high priest in the order of Melchizedek and the only high priest to offer himself as a sacrifice for humanity. He's the prophet that Moses prophesied would arise. He's the kinsman redeemer, the Boaz to my Ruth, the root and the offspring of King David. Although he's called the son of David, even David called him my Lord. For my Lord is the king of the Jews, the king of saints, the heir of all things, the only potentate, the Mashiach, the Messiah, the anointed one, the appointed son, he who was and is and is still to come. This man of sorrows is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He is the Aleph and the Tau, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith and my best friend. Have you heard of my beloved? Can you guess his name? Do you know the many titles that portray his fame? My beloved is the most irreducible, the most innumerable, for his identity cannot be simplified to a singular entity. He's the firstborn of all creation and the firstborn of the dead, the second Adam who will come a second time, the third of the Trinity who rose on the third day and the fourth man in the fire, the man who baptizes with the Holy Ghost and fire, my beloved, is the most indisputable, the most irrefutable, the most unusual of wonders, the most truthful of lovers. He sticks closer than a brother. I won't follow another. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. Though few could see the beauty hidden within his humble beginnings, the majesty that was masked by his modest upbringing. Who would have thought that the captain and horn of salvation would come from Galilee, or that the just and holy one of Israel would be a Nazarene? Who would have thought that a carpenter would be our great physician, messenger, rabbi and priest, our advocate, judge, mediator, governor and king, our shepherd and bishop who was destined to lead? Who would have thought? that such an unassuming being would be deemed wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Have you heard of my beloved? Can you guess his name? Do you know the many titles that portray his fame? He's the sheep's doorway to Yahweh, the faithful and true witness, the resurrection and the life. He's the groom and head of the church, his bride. He's the branch of righteousness and the true vine, the prince of life and the son of the most high, the servant of the Lord and the arm of Adonai. He's the day spring, the fountain of living waters, the chief cornerstone and the rock of my salvation. He's my creator, my master, my savior. I'll shout Hosanna to my deliverer, my forerunner, my anchor. He is Emmanuel, the image of the invisible God that can be touched and seen. Shiloh has come sent by Elohim to die on a tree. Although blood is known to stain, his own washes us clean. He's the light of the world, the bright and morning star, the sun of righteousness that shines near and far. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. Amen. You are the Lord of glory, the Lord our righteousness, the Lord of the Sabbath, the Lord of all. I said yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. 
Amen. Yes, you are the amen at the end of my prayers. Tell me, people of the earth, will you recognize the incarnate word by his frame when he rides from heaven with his armies of saints? On his head are many diadems. He has a name written on himself that no one knows but him. However, on his blood-soaked robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You have now heard of my beloved. Surely by now you can guess his name. I have shared every title that portrays his fame. All but one. Hear me, people of the earth. I will share the one name that remains. Salvation can be found in no other for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. The name of my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Yeshua, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord. You renew us, Yeshua. Hallelujah, Yeshua. You choose to use us, Yeshua. Hallelujah, Yeshua. You're working through us, Yeshua. Hallelujah, Yeshua. Yes, you are, Yeshua. Hallelujah, Yeshua.